Brought to you by DCP Player version 2, available now. Hello Cinema Tech Geeks, this is James Gardner and I'm at uh, uh, the AIMC CinemaCon show in Australia and today I've got Craig Mensa from Barco here to show us the new um, the new lower lower end or lower cost projector that's coming onto the market next year. Now this is a, a quite a revolutionary product because the price range is considerably lower. So so where where's this sort of fit in the price range? The, the projector will probably be roughly around about the five, 35 mark. Uh, it's going to be incorporating a IMS uh, system where it will have onboard storage um, and allow you to have uh, the content stored on the projector and played back. So just so there's a new 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 um, acronym there, IMS, Integrated Media Server. Is that correct? Yeah, that's correct. So here we have the projector and um, this is where the IMS would go. At the moment we've just got a typical uh, uh, integrated media block like you would have a server which feed this media block but an IMS basically is the server and everything will be here you'll have hard drives plugging into the side and so the whole projector and everything you need to play back the content will be in this module here and in the projector so that's what an IMS is and the one of the special and the great great issues about this is that for the 35 you're getting the, the projector and the player in the one product so that's one of the big revolutionary issues about this product coming to the market, especially at this price point. And um, now, another big issue about this project I'd like to show is that um, you can hang this from the ceiling, is that correct? Yes, that's correct. Uh, the uh, design of the projector has been designed so it can uh, be ceiling mounted. Uh, and also has uh, the display panel here so it can be easily reached. Yes, yeah, so and this uh, can be easily reached even if it's on the ceiling. Yes, that's and correct. So we can open, the, open it and access from... Yes, uh, the projector itself is very modular, so it has uh, easy access panels with the half-turn uh, locks, we're allowing you to be able to uh, take out the modules and repair them, uh, and also has a very modularity system, so it allows you to uh, uh, be able to, to uh, quickly exchange the parts as it's uh, required to be exchanged if needed. And also, I was looking through the document documentation myself, and. Here um, on this unit here we've got the, you can have an exhaust that goes out the top, which is traditional, but on this one we've got the exhaust to go out the rear, and, and that's, that's so uh, making it more, uh, if we're going to put it on the ceiling for example, and we have limited cavity space etc, this is to make it easier, or easier to vent it and keep it cool, is that correct? Yeah, so you can use, you, we have the optional uh, venting system on the, on the system, so you can use your traditional uh, extraction systems. But uh, we've also allowed it to be uh, self-efficient, so it can actually extract uh, its own air and keep the projector at its operational temperature. Now, one of the big features I like, oh, just on that, just on the on this part, you're still using the same lamp module as the C series, aren't you? So you can use your C series spares or lamp modules directly into this. So if you've already got some other bigger projectors, you're, you're reusing your spares and saving more, more costs there. No, definitely, uh, James. We've been uh, able to uh, utilise some of the modules and uh, a lot of the similarities of our other family projectors are actually utilising the same type of spares. Uh, the LPS itself is also uh, common between the families, so our B series and our C series. Now with the S projector, we're also utilising the same LPS. There's also similar parts in the uh, switch mode power supply, so the switch mode power supply is very similar. Uh, the controller is a little bit different unfortunately, however the IMB and the uh, ICP today is we're utilising is uh, a common part and it's also the same across our whole entire family. Well, that, that's, that's really good and, and another great feature I really like about your series of projectors is uh, will you have the same reusable filters so you don't have the cost of buying filters every six months? Yes definitely, uh, we've, uh, part of our cost of ownership is uh, to make sure that the uh, users be able to replace and uh, reuse those filters by cleaning them um, and that's uh, an idea of something we've kept along our whole entire Barco family. Well, that's, I must admit, it's one of my favourite features of the Barco family because the, 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 the filters and looking after them can cost considerably, so that, that's a great cost saving, so, so the CTO is very efficient there. Now, <coughs> just finally, um, of course, this projector, it's got, it uses the smaller um, 0.69 or 0.68, was it 0.69? Yes, it's using the new uh, S2K 0.69-inch uh, chip, uh, which is formerly developed on the 4K technology. 
So the pixel sizes are actually the similar size in pitch and uh, TI has been able to revolutionize the package into a smaller package allowing us to uh, generate this 0.69 inch chip. Yeah, so, so in more, 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 more layman's terms I'd say you've got the 4K chip, basically they've cut it into half and half, so that quarter of that chip is basically the size of the chip in here which is the 0.68. Now, a good feature of that is because the chip is smaller, it also means that the lenses and the lens elements don't need to be as big and therefore it's one of the big savings you're getting is because the lens and the zoom lenses are more cost effective to make and, and, and for the unit. So this is how we're getting the prices down and um, it's, it's a great, you know, this is probably one of my favourite of the new, the other vendors are coming out with similar units, but this has got uh, the most uh, variety in terms of, I like the reusable um, filters etc and also the lamp capability of this unit is also the the best of uh, the units coming out I think it's a an eight eight hundred to a 2.5 is that's correct yes uh, we're trying we're working with the uh, lamp manufacturers at the moment to try and find a, a range of uh, lamps that we can operate with on the projector to give the best cost of ownership over the longevity of the, of the projector so they can get the most brightness and you be able to uh, get the, the, the best cost of ownership over the period of, of the lamp operation. So yes, uh, we are looking at the option of being able to utilize this 800 watts uh, lamp. There's also a 1.2 kilowatt lamp and also a 2 kilowatt lamp. Wasn't there a 1, 2.5 too? Um, I'll have to check my. We'll have to check I'll have to check my back stats. Back. So they might might be there, but we'll uh, we'll have a look on that. But still, it's a it's a it's a very uh, well well um, rounded uh, pr product. Uh, fantastic to fill up those last couple of screens that you have in your venue with a with a fantastic price. So there's you know digital is on its way, and this is pretty much going to fill the rest of the screens in the world pretty quickly in my in my mind uh, with this sort of product coming out. So thanks, Craig. Thanks for the information, and thanks, Barco. It's a nice new product on the on the way here, and. Uh, um, anyway, thanks Craig. It's a pleasure James. Um, I'm glad to uh, have done this presentation with you. <laughs> That's fine. And uh, thanks for watching Cinematech Geek and I'll see you next time. Bye.